guys, welcome to the channel. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the engine that's uh, sitting in my uh, current Honda. Now this Honda is the CRV, it's the uh, second generation. Uh, this one was actually built in Japan and it's uh, a 2006 model, so it's the, the last of that series. Um, and as a lot of you guys probably know, that this particular vehicle came with the mighty K24 engine, uh, and in particular, the IVTEC system, which I'm going to explain a little bit more about. It's, uh, it's an engine that I had no idea about, no information, but when I was actually researching this particular generation of Honda CRVs um, and the all-wheel drive, um, yeah, it, um, there was a lot of interesting things that popped up about it. Firstly, reliability. Um, this thing is engineered well. It, it, it's, a, it's, it's a really well-built engine. Um, and the IV tech system is, is something that really helps uh, get this vehicle along. So yeah, so um, in the Australian markets and also the European markets, it's known as the K24A3. So yeah, let's get along with it. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, VTEC engine sitting in my uh, Honda CRV. So pretty much basically back in uh, early 2000, the Honda, engine Honda engineers uh, decided to uh, make these engines uh, more efficient in fuel economy and also gain performance. And how they did that was uh, by altering the internal valve lift and timing. Uh, the engineers were able to boost performance without expensive uh, addition of turbochargers and or like uh, super uh, superchargers, sorry. Okay, so uh, how does VTEC work? Well, VTEC uses two separate camshaft profiles uh, for low and high end performance and the engine computer basically selects between these two profiles. By using separate profiles, uh, both lift and duration of the valve opening can be easily adjusted. This is actually seamlessly done and um, uh, throughout the power band, allowing for you know, smooth performance across the entire power band. So how does VTEC work? Uh, the switching operation between the two cam lobes is controlled by the engine computer. Based on speed, load, and engine RPM, the computer switches between the efficient cam and the high performance cam. An actual solenoid engages the rocker arms on the high performance cam. Now at that point, the valves open and close accordingly to the high performance profile. Uh, what they call high lift profile, opening the valves further for a longer duration. This allows for more air and fuel, and obviously uh, everyone knows that the more air and fuel you get in, it creates stronger torque and more horsepower. Um, so essentially that's what the IVTEC system does. Um, as mentioned, it uses two separate camshaft profiles. Uh, it's, a, it's a great little system. Um, I've actually never pushed a vehicle to uh, to actually operate the IVTEC system. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube where you can see that actually happening, where it actually kicks in, um, and there's a, yeah, there's a fair amount of boost. It's it's quite impressive actually. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, this is my daily driver. Um, it's 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 great. It's very fuel efficient. Um, yep, it does have a fair bit of power. Um, I love it when you overtake or you're just cruising down the highways. Uh, you know, you want to push it a little bit. But yeah, as I said, um, it normally kicks in over 5,000 RPM. So I've never actually done it. Yeah, I'll give it a go one day and just uh, see what it's all about. But uh, yeah, that's just a quick video about the IV Tech system. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.